the Dean of the Frank Batten School of Leadership and Public Policy, Ian H. Solomon. Greetings, graduates, families, friends. I love you guys. As the fourth dean to speak today, I'm thinking about the jazz ensembles I used to watch in Johannesburg or New York, where each musician would take a turn to solo, improvising a melodic line over a familiar progression of chords. We all know the melody of final exercises. We know the celebratory musical key and the rhythm where each dean and several amazing students, and of course, our inspiring commencement speaker, go Alexis, go Olympia, take a turn to solo. Sometimes, improvisation is driven by necessity. In a story that may be apocryphal, the great jazz master, Louis Armstrong, was recording the song, Heebie Jeebies. You may not know the song, the most famous recording includes something like heebie-jeebies, lee bop da and doodly da da dee ba da or something like that. This form of singing became known as scat singing, and heebie-jeebies became a bestseller. Interestingly, Armstrong's scat was an adaptation born of necessity. He had accidentally dropped the paper with the lyrics during the recording. He didn't know the words. But instead of stopping, he started improvising sounds with his mouth or scatting. And he expected the engineers to discard the recording. Instead, they insisted on keeping the scat lyrics, and a new vocal sensation was born. Now, I'm going to try not to lose this script today. But over the past year, almost all of our scripts and plans and rehearsing did not apply. COVID-19 scattered our scripts, upset the harmonic understanding of our lives. The lyrics that we expected to sing, the choreography we expected to dance, all had to be reimagined. Compared to the music that we wanted to play, we were constrained. Lots of can'ts and shouldn'ts and don'ts, can't gather, don't mingle, shouldn't travel. Lots of noisy discord, disease, distress, and dissonance. And so, we were asked to improvise, all of us, like jazz artists, even those of us who might prefer the predictability of classical music, or the unrelenting pulse of EDM that I become familiar with as a resident of the lawn. As doctors and nurses, educators, policy makers and leaders, we are indispensable players in this ensemble to restore harmony, to make the wrong chords right, to invent new solutions where the old ones don't apply, to take the tragedy of COVID-19 and create a post-pandemic world of equity and justice, healing and opportunity. Dear graduates, you've learned your instruments. You've become practitioners of the science of learning, the rigors of analysis, the dynamics of social institutions, negotiation, decision-making, and more. And while you have been learning and practicing, the music keeps changing. We might wish to blame other musicians or blame the audience or our equipment, but this, this is our performance. This is our opportunity. Don't blame the stage. These are the sounds of our unpredictable lives, the songs of change in which we play a part. We can adapt and adjust, find ways to shape the can'ts into cans, the mustn'ts at least into maybes, the no but into yes and, create possibility and hope amidst despair. Congratulations, class of 21, from medicine, nursing, education, human development, leadership, and public policy. You are the artists that we need. Let's use our skills together to make this 
performance art that we call life something that is beautiful, profound, original, fulfilling, something grounded in love and service to others. Share generously of your talents, your skills, and your improvisational dreams. Together, together, we can bring greater health, hope, and harmony to our world. Heebie jeebies, lee bop da, doodly da da, deep bop da. Good luck, graduates. Thank you.